Welcome back. In the last video we explained the 0R classifier and we mentioned that in our data it ignores the predictors or the features and it only builds a frequency table from the class variable or from the class column and it predicts everything to be the same as the majority class so it only chooses the majority class. Uh, the 1R classifier is another classifier based on the frequency table and the name says it all 1R short for one rule so what it does here instead of ignoring all the predictors it only chooses one predictor and it uses it for classification it's a simple yet accurate classification algorithms algorithm and the way it works is as follows it generates one rule for each predictor in the data then selects the rule with the smallest total error as its one rule so from our variables or from our predictors or from our features we generate one rule for each of them and we choose the one that gives us the smallest total error to create a rule for a predictor we construct a frequency table from each predictor against the target now if that predictor if that feature is numerical then we need to transform it into categorical and then build a frequency table it has been shown that 1R produces rules only slightly less accurate than state-of-the-art classification algorithms while producing rules that are simple for humans to interpret so usually rules are quite simple because it only uses one predictor or one feature the algorithm is as follows for each predict predictor for each value of that predictor and remember if it's numerical then we need to transform it into categorical make a rule as follows count how often each value of the target class appears find the most frequent class make the rule assign that class to this value of the predictor calculate the total error of the rules of each predictor and then choose the predictor with the smallest total error for that to make sense let's take an example let's have a look at this this data we've seen this before the weather data now four predictors or four variables or four attributes and one class and they're all categorical so things are nice and easy and from this now we build frequency tables for each of these columns for each of these features against the class and as you can see here we build our frequency tables and from the frequency tables as you can see now for outlook we have three categories sunny overcast rainy and for sunny we have three yeses and two noes for overcast we have four yeses and zero noes for rainy we have two yeses and three noes for humidity we have high and normal for high we have three yeses and four noes for normal we have six yeses and one no as you can see as, as we mentioned before we uh, we uh, build the frequency table for each attribute for each predictor against the class and by the way the sum of all of these should be the same as the number of instances these should be all of our instances if for example here we have 14 instances if these numbers don't, don't sum to 14 then something is not right now from these we can now build uh, uh, um, um, maybe we can build um, a confusion matrix to calculate the accuracy or somehow find a way of uh, uh, measuring the error and we notice now that if we build a confusion matrix out of this we notice that the outlooks the outlook gives us the highest accuracy um, and as you can see here our rules are nice and easy if out our, our one R now if outlook is sunny then play golf equals yes and the reason is uh, because for sunny the vast majority is yeses three is larger than no if outlook is overcast then play golf equals yes and as you can see now we don't have any no's for out for overcast so that's quite easy and for outlook rainy play golf equals no because the number of no's is larger than the number of uh, yeses this is explaining what we mentioned here find the most frequent class so as you can see here um, for example for sunny we have three yeses and two no's then if outlook is sunny then we choose yes always yes if outlook is overcast we have zero and four, four and zero so we always choose four 
uh, for rain you have two and three so al always choose three ie no yes now the contribution of the predictors in this classifier simply the total error calculated from the frequency tables is the measure of each predictor contribution a low total error means a higher contribution to the predict predictability of the model just to show you we can actually show a confusion matrix for example for uh, um, for outlook and we can build it as we learned before actual values yeses and nos predicted values yes and nos and we see how many true positives how many true negatives how many false positives how many false negatives and compute the accuracy we can do this maybe for uh, um, each of these attributes and choose the one with the highest accuracy in our case it will be outlook um, it does actually show by the way a significant predictability power an accuracy of 71 percent isn't that bad is it 1R does not generate score or probability that's why we uh, we don't have uh, gains or lift charts or KS charts or rock charts the one we ex the ones we explained in our model evaluation tutorial I'm going to stop here uh, in the next video I will start explaining the basic ideas and the intuition behind the naive base classifier thanks again and I'll see you next time